All right, our next uh, question here. Uh, guidance on blessing a twin flame out of your life. I know our path isn't over and that in another time and place, he'll become a soulmate, but I need a time out right now. Well, you know, the beautiful thing about the time we're in is you can block somebody's number. You can even send them a message saying, I love you. I just can't right now. It's not, it's not about you. It's about me. You know, cliche, but it's true. It's true. Um, but I don't think avoiding uh, twin flames is necessarily the solution. The only way out is through. But I think what, what I'm feeling from your question, and I know a little bit of your situation privately, uh, we've talked about this, um, is that there's something inside of you that's exhausted, that you've been giving and giving and giving and giving and giving, and not necessarily getting what you want in return. Now, as a sidebar, I've learned that when you give without attachment, which sounds lovely, but <laughs> how easy is that? That's not how we're raised. Uh, we, when we forgive somebody, we expect an apology in return, mm, whatever. Uh, atonement. Uh, but when you give without attachment, the giving fills you up. And that's so much easier said than done. So bless them, sure. You, you know, I, I, I have to say without getting too personal, I just went through this with somebody who I now know is not a twin flame. Um, because when we're together, it's magnificent, it's peaceful, it's satisfying, like soulmate is satisfying. Um, but it's when we're not together. It's the things we do to ourselves that torture us. So we're, he's, we've never done anything to hurt each other. Um, it, it's, it's a very, very fascinating process. And, you know, there are as well twin flame soulmate hybrids, rare but happen. So to thine own self be true, again, ask for the grace of humility. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, but I'm willing to be shown. Here's one that I do, and it almost falls under spell work almost oh, this is the one i did for two weeks every morning i would wake up and i would make an intention i can feel wayne dyer tapping on my crown chakra uh, the main intention is uh today may i be more loving than i've ever been before to myself and to everyone around me all right which is a good solid full intention i want that every day but then i back that up with something along the lines of Every time I blink my eyes, consciously or unconsciously, I bless and release the relationship with this person for the well-being of all. I know that was fast. I'll say it again. Every time I blink my eyes, consciously or unconsciously, I bless and release this relationship with grace, with love for the well-being of all. Right? Every time I breathe, I let this person go in perfect love and perfect trust. Known or unknown. I always say with the breathing and the blinking, known or unknown. Every time I take a sip of coffee, the world is blessed with bliss. Mm. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so that's something to play with. And remember, grace is the kind of thing where you don't need to know what grace to send. You can just make the prayer. Oh, dearest God, God, it's all that it is. Shaggy, Scooby, Velva, Velma, and Fred. Oh, and danger prone Daphne. Flood me with grace. Don't even know which one. Just fill me and let's give the overflow to this person, place, or thing. Um, and again, if you haven't read the book Words of Grace, go get it. It's on the Drawing the Circle website, drawingthecircle.com in the store. It's towards the bottom unless you change the sort function on it. So that's something to think about. 